Does an inverted yield curve um, in the U.S. suggest that there's a upcoming economic slump like in the past, or is it different this time? I think it's different this time. Um, there's a lot of distortions in the U.S. curve at the moment. So you've had um, heavy issuance in the front end um, from the U.S. Treasury, but then you've also had the impact of QE still weighing on the back end of the curve. And when you look at the communication we've had from policymakers in the last 48 hours, we had ECB reiterating their commitment to keeping monetary conditions very loose in Europe. You had the BOJ earlier today where the commitment again to yield curve control is intact. And actually you had dissenters, two dissenters, wishing for more easing to try and get them to target. It's hard to see this dynamic reversing very quickly. Ralph, do you agree with that? Um, I would, but I think the more important question is, you know, is it really a meaningful statement to say that a recession is coming? The world will end at some point. Yeah, but the, but the curve, I mean, you're right, but the curve keeps on flattening, right? The curve and so keeps actually, on flattening. And, and I will have, at the moment, I have another chart up, which is a real yield on U.S. Uh, seven-year notes. But actually, if you look at, at the, you know, if you, you could see an inversion pretty quickly. Is what um, is yeah, it's not in our forecast, but it, it is eminently possible. The question is, what do you do with that information? So if you look at the average, uh, and we looked at that this week, if, if you look at the average length of time between a yield curve conversion and uh, inversion and the beginning of a recession, it's 27 months. But the range is between nine months and 66 months. Yeah. So yeah. You know, what does, what's the market meant to do with the information that within the next two to five years, we yeah. might get a recession? It's, yeah. It doesn't really help us all that much. It, I don't think it necessarily serves as a signal for when you start fading the sell-off in rates, for example. Right.